Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and today we are discussing Umind, which is an AI learning and creation studio. Umind goes way beyond other AI apps like ChatGPT because not only can you chat with Umind, but you can also create incredible resources and materials. You can quickly generate things like blog posts, podcasts, and even research guides for students. And what's really cool is you can also interact with that text so you can quickly make edits and changes and make these materials what you want. This app is compatible across all devices so you can use it on your Mac, iPad, iPhone, or any other device. So in today's video I'm going to walk you through how I use Umind. So I am a social studies teacher by trade and Umind is great for creating materials for my students. And so I'm going to walk you through how I make these materials with this incredible AI platform. AI is not going away and if you're not using it you're really missing out on some very powerful tools. So without further ado let's get into it. Alright so to get started with Umind I'm just going to open a fresh browser here in Google Chrome and I'm going to go to youmind.com. And when you first come to Umind, if you haven't ever been to it before, you'll be prompted to set up an account and I just used my Gmail account to set mine up. And so once your account is all set up, you'll be able to see your boards. And so Umind starts you out with some of their boards here. So you have a board called Chaos. It just has a little bit of background to the company. And then I have a board here where I have researched the Great Wall of China. So remember, I'm a social studies teacher and so I think this tool is great for creating content for my seventh grade social studies classroom. Now I will say that before you get started you're going to want to install the browser extension for Chrome because you're going to be able to collect snippets from around the web with this browser extension. So I'm going to go ahead and click install and add to Chrome. Now something else you want to do is actually pin that browser extension so you can click the little puzzle piece to do that and here is the Umind AI web clipper. I'm just going to click the pin button. And you get a little celebration when you do that, but now you'll see that browser extension right there. So it's nice and convenient to grab it. Okay, so let's go back to my boards here and let's say I wanna start some new research. So I'm just gonna click new board. And you're gonna get a little window here that's very similar to chat GPT and it says, what are you curious about? So let's say I wanna do a lesson on the Eiffel Tower in Paris. I can start to chat with you mind. So once you type in your question, you're gonna see you mind go to work here. And it doesn't just chat with you. It actually lays out what you're trying to do. It gives a research plan and it's going to pull over here on the right side. It's going to show you the materials that it's grabbing from the web in order to generate your content. You'll see you mind say, yep, it has insightful and reliable materials. It's added them to the board and you can see them populate over here. And now that it's created all those materials, it's selected seven sources and it's going to create a detailed report summarizing the facts about the Eiffel Tower for me. So it's writing that now. Okay, so here is my summary, my comprehensive report, and you can see it gives me an introduction. It gives me the history to the Eiffel Tower, when it was built, how it was constructed, the architecture, visitor stats, and so on. And then at the bottom, I get my summary of everything that Umind has done. So all of that took about three minutes for Umind to complete. Okay, so now let's go back to my Umind home screen, and I can see a new board here, my Eiffel Tower facts, and I can actually click into that. I can see all my materials. I can see the history of the chat. And if I want, I can reorganize my materials. This is sort of the thumbnail version here. You can also see them by the list or you can see them in columns. And what's interesting is you can also take notes to add to these materials. So if I wanna start some notes, I can click new note and then I can just type away. All right, so I've made a note for myself and I've titled it. Okay, and I'm just gonna click minimize materials. All right, so next, let's talk about what Umind can do regarding your research now that you've collected some information. So up here, we have a section called crafts, and there are many different kinds of documents and podcasts that Umind can create for you using AI. And so, for example, let's say I wanted to make a blog post with this information. I can just select blog post, and it will generate a blog post from the seven materials. And so I can just click generate, and it will start generating a blog post. Another really cool craft that you can make is an audio pod. So this is a podcast made with AI. I thought this was really cool and useful for my students. So I'm just gonna click audio pod and it can be a quick listen so you get the key points in a three minute audio. That's perfect for seventh graders. It doesn't need to be too long. You can select the language that you want the voice to be in. You can make it casual and you can select different voices of how you want it to sound. I'm just gonna pick James and I'm gonna click generate. And so now Umind is generating that audio podcast. 
All right, so let's look at some of the resources that were created here. So let's look at our blog post. And so if we click into it, we can get a preview of the blog. And you'll notice it doesn't just add text, it adds pictures as well. And what's cool is not only do you have this text, but you can also add to it or edit it. The title says four things you think you know about the Eiffel Tower that are wrong. Maybe I don't like that text. I can just select it and remove it. And you can add text as well, and you can move text around. It's actually a really convenient tool and very simple and easy to use. Another cool thing you can do with your blog post is you can customize it. So you can go down here to style, and you can select a different color and font, different templates, depending on what you like. You can select different fonts here. So now we have a bit of a different look there. And then when you're done, you can actually share it out. So there's a share button up here and you can generate a link. I'm just gonna click copy. And so if I sent this link out to my students or anyone, they're gonna be able to visit my blog post and it's gonna look like a beautiful, well-crafted website. It's really slick and smooth. Now, let's take a look at that podcast. So right here. So here we have the title, The Eiffel Tower from Controversy to Icon, and you can play this podcast. The Eiffel Tower, an emblem of Paris began as a bold project for the 1889 World's Fair, conceived by engineers Maurice Caitlin and Emile Nouguier and architect Stephen Sylvestre. It was a daring feat of engineering with its lattice iron design. Okay, so I think that's pretty cool that it made a two minute resource for my students, something that they don't have to read, they can just listen to it, which is a totally different mode of learning and is actually really helpful and useful. So you can make some really awesome materials with Umind and it takes very little effort. The AI does it all for you. All right, let's say that I want to add to the materials here that I wanna go do my own research. Maybe I wanna go find a YouTube video about about the Eiffel Tower. Well, I can just pull up a new tab. So let's say I found a video about the Eiffel Tower that I really like. Well, I can go up here to the browser extension and when I click it, it's gonna show the video that I have found and it's gonna give me a full breakdown of this video. So you get a full breakdown and comprehensive summary and then you can ask what you want to the AI and it will help you better understand what you're looking at without having to read through all this. So I might ask, does this video cover when the Eiffel Tower was built? And it gives me the answer. Yes, the video covers when the Eiffel Tower was built. It mentions the inauguration date was set for March 31st, 1889, and so on. So that's pretty cool. So if you want to look for specific facts about the video and you don't want to read through the gigantic description of it, you can just chat with Umind. Now, let's say I want to save this video back to my notes. You can do that. You can hover up here where it says save to, and you can select the board that you want this video to go in. So I'm going to select Eiffel Tower facts and now it's saved. And if we look at our Eiffel Tower facts in Umind, you should now see that video posted in the materials, which is really awesome. So it's quick and seamless to use that browser extension and save video content or any other kind of content you want to from the web. Okay, something else I wanna show you is called the batch reading feature. And so let's say I visited YouTube and I wanna grab a whole bunch of Eiffel Tower videos at once. You can do that with the browser extension. And there's a button up here called batch reading. And so you can click that and then you can highlight videos, you'll get a green check mark and a green box around the videos that you want to keep. So I'm just going to select these videos here. And when you're all done, you can select done. And so now it grabs multiple videos at once. It gives me my breakdown and summary of those videos. And I can just click save all to save them back to my notes. And you'll see that complete. So that is pretty awesome. You can grab multiple things at once. Easy peasy. All right. Now the last really cool thing I want to show you is the pick feature inside of Umind. So I've got all these videos here that I've saved. I'm just going to select one of them now. And right here, it says that I've highlighted picks and you can see these red lines. And so what Umind does is, is it will pick out the most important points in the video and even give you the time in which these points start, which is really good for teachers and students who are just trying to get the main ideas very quickly. So you can actually select one of these points and it will jump right to that video portion. Now you can also select a portion of the video and make your own pick. So if you're watching the video and you found something important, you can select this button right here and create a pick and it will make it. And all your picks populate on the right side of the screen. You can see them all there. And so it's really easy to grab the portions of the video you want to remember. And you can also grab your picks by hitting the select button up here. So I'm going to click select and you can select some picks by clicking the check mark box. And then down here, you can click save as note. And when you do that, now you have your picks inside of an actual note and you can add to that note. 
you can add more text to it and really be on top of your note taking. So UMind really helps teachers and students focus in on what they want very quickly, efficiently turn these video clips into notes, and then even add to them. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back to my boards here for a minute. So let's just talk about the boards page. So you can see all my research that I've been doing on the Eiffel Tower. You can see previous boards that I've made. And down here you can see the credits. And so each time you use UMind for an AI search or to find images and so on, you burn credits. And you can see your credit usage when you click on your name. So you can see back here, this was my research on the Great Wall of China. And here is my research on the Eiffel Tower. And you can see how many credits I'm using for each event in UMind. But you can upgrade, they have multiple different plans. You can go monthly and you can check out what you get with a subscription. You get a whole lot more credits, unlimited access to AI models. You're gonna get a much more extensive experience. All right, so that's my rundown on UMind. It is an incredible AI platform. It's extremely useful for creators, teachers, and students. It's such a powerful tool for learning. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you can check out this product and I'll leave another link for a 20% off coupon for a subscription to UMind. So check that out. Let me know if you have any questions about this app. I'm happy to help you out. Leave a comment below. That's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.